Morning all, welcome. Back down the bar as usual. Well, not as usual, that sounds bad. But um, a few people on the channel have asked me about my TV setup down my low, down my pub shed garden bar. So I just want to go through with what I use and I'll put a link below to the, um, the product that I bought from Amazon. If you could use that link, I'd appreciate it. I'll set it up as an affiliate link, so I might earn a, a, a small, tiny, I don't know, 10 pence commission out of it or whatever. Um, what I'll do, I'll add that up. It all helps keep the channel running. I'll add that up, if anything, and uh, buy some products and see what we can do, see if we can do some giveaways or whatever. We'll see anyway. But um, I looked on Amazon this morning. The product I use is almost identical to the product in a link that I'm going to put below in the descriptions or the comments of the description or whatever of this video. Um, it's not the same make, but it looks, for all intents and purposes, exactly the same product. It just looks like it's been rebadged. It's the one in four HMI splitter box, and it works for me. Um, if you, I noticed in the comments a few people mentioned about, um, on the Amazon reviews, a few people mentioned about 4K. Uh, I think if you actually read the description properly, I think it does two TVs at 4K, three TVs at HDMI, four TVs at HDMI. Not 100% sure. My TV works great. <clears throat> I've got three TVs here, they all work great. I'm not interested in 4K. I hardly use 4K in the house, let alone Dammy Pub. As far as I'm concerned, these pictures are great. Um, if, you, if you see my other videos, you'll see that I've got a big TV here. I think that's a 42 inch, I don't know, 42 inch, 8 inch plasma. Very old TV that from the house. Small, small one beyond the bar, and another large one over there. So I'm going to show you around, I'm going to show you, zoom in on these splitter boxes I've got, show you what plugs in where, because I use the Amazon Fire Stick as well. I'll put a link to that below as well. They've always come up on deals, those fire sticks. Brilliant, brilliant bit of kit, the fire sticks. Can't fault them. <clears throat> oh, I'm using I'm using an Amazon fire stick on mine, which are fantastic. I mean, as of, if you see my other videos, I'm not sure if you have or not, but if you see my other videos, I'm just using Wi-Fi from the house down to the shed with a BT ex extendable disc. There's no Ethernet cable underground, no Ethernet cable run down the... Um, the fence or anything. I've not needed it yet. I have got a length of Ethernet cable ready to rock and roll if I do need it. I might do one day. Um, might make it a little bit better. I'm not sure. At the moment, it's working all right as it is with Wi-Fi. With free TVs, all the Amazon lights, etc. Outside door lights, garden lights, ceiling lights, all plugged in. It all works with Wi-Fi. If it doesn't work for you, then you know you might look at the Ethernet route or something like that. But uh, yeah, Amazon Fire Stick. Absolutely recommend because you, in the UK you get all your BBC apps on there, ITV, Play, etc. Netflix is on there. I've got everything on there that I've got up at the house. Um, I've I've heard a rumor you can get some dodgy software on there as well to watch some dodgy films and movies and channels and that. I can't condone that. Nothing to do with me. I'm not getting involved in that. All I'm saying is the Amazon Fire Six are brilliant. This splitter box works for me so. With no further ado, we're going to zoom in and have a little look at the splitter box thing that I'm using, and I'll show you what's plugged in where. If you buy the same product, uh, I'm repeating myself now, but if you could buy through the affiliate link, uh, the link below, the affiliate link below, I'd appreciate it. I might get a few pence out of it to help this channel. If not, up to you, it doesn't bother me <coughs> in the slightest. Um, yeah, let's get the camera now, zoom in, and have a little look. It's a bit tucked, just, just word on it, it's tucked in at the back there. It's a bit of a bloody mess because there's a few HMI cables. Um, when I pull it out, nine my like it's all gonna fall apart and unplug. So we'll have to sort that out. I'll also put a link to the HMI codes that I use. They work for me. Um, direct cable or something it's called. The white ones here, if you, if you can see these at the top, the two white ones pinned round. I mean, they would be better off beyond the, beyond the balls, I suppose, but it's done the job. So one comes from the split box on this TV to the small TV there, and then another one comes from this TV to the large TV over there. I think if you go on Amazon and look at the description, it says something about you lose quality over five meters. But um, five meters run round, this is this is not five meters around there. So I'm more than happy with this. And I think I mentioned in one of my other videos, just for the pure sake of it, when I'm down here watching TV, I just put all three TVs on. Just gives you that little bit of an atmosphere. Sad, I know, but you just, it just gives you that pub atmosphere. Um, try to keep this video short and sweet and on subject for a change, which make, it does make a change for me. Although, I will mention, I've been down this morning, done the dishwasher. She, she was like, what the, you doing the dishwasher? But, uh, yeah, so um, the reason is I've got one of those little blue carrier things. They're pretty good as well, the pub ones, you know, the plastic pub carrier things. So I took my glasses from down here up to the dishwasher, done all that, had a little clear up, done a little bit of a tidy up this morning. Um, still more time up to do. 
And I think I'm going to go under my bench seat and today and put some crap up the loft because I'm getting a bit of a build up of mess down here. I want to try and keep it tidy down here. Yeah, and I've got, I did think earlier, I was doing the, I was doing the dishwasher earlier. And I thought, why don't I just have one glass, one beer, have a couple of beers in one glass and then rinse that glass out, done. Why do I have this habit of just using different glasses? Don't know, I don't know what you guys do or you people do, ladies and gents. Um, for some reason, I tend to use the same, loads of different glasses. I get a bit lazy, so a week later, two weeks later, I've got a load of sticky glasses up there. I can understand a whiskey glass and a beer glass, but I've got, I had four or five beer glasses there, two whiskey glasses, a shot glass, they're all from me, and I'm thinking, why don't I just do one glass? I've got some water over there, but I'll rinse out and done. I might do that in the future. Or why don't I just drink out a bottle I can? Whatever, back on track. Let's zoom in and have a look at this splitter box. The camera is clipped to my cap and it's weighing a ton. So let's just have a little look. Um, yeah, it is a jungle. Ignore this plug and this Alexa plug. That's for light lighting outdoors. So there's my main TV. Well, the main TV for me anyway. Now this Amazon Fire Stick there, I won't move it back because it was a bit wobbly just now. I knew it would be. It's all working all right at the moment. There should be some little lights on under there. Yeah. So it's all working. So what I do, I tuck it all in behind there. It's a bit of a jungle, but once it's all tucked in and plugged in, you can't see it and it just stays there forever more. So the fire sticks, they come up and deal quite regularly on Amazon. I'll put a link to the fire sticks. If you can buy through the affiliate affiliated link that I put there, it'd be appreciated. Same with the splitter box. Now the fire sticks, when you get them, the same as the one I've got in the house, or a couple of them I've got, um, they come built in with, I think you've got iPlayer, Netflix, ITV Hub, Prime, everything on there. You can get some iffy software, not down to me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't condone that at all, that's illegal. The Fire 6 can take power from the HDMI port from your TV. I think they recommend plugging it into the mains though as well. Now, if I remember rightly, they, they supplied a small lead with the Fire Stick. Because in case the fire stick fouls, if you just stick it in the HDMI port at the back of the TV, it can foul. So they supply this little cable anyway. With the splitter box, you need to plug it into the mains yourself. Now, I can't remember if they supply that or not. I don't think they do. It's a standard, I think it's a USB-C or USB. Hence, I've got this old Samsung plug there, which is powering the fire stick it does need its own separate power you can't rely on the power from the splitter box so that's the first thing to know secondly splitter box i noticed earlier the mains lead was a little bit wobbly the socket was a main was a little bit wobbly but um buy one and see what you think i can't 100 remember if it comes with a power lead so i'm not sure so you'll have to buy one and find out i'll read the instructions the one the link i'll give you that on my video this video will be to this this but very very similar i think i've just rebranded it literally rebranded it so you got we look under there you got power in source in and that's your hdmi that'll be your that'll be your amazon fire stick then you've got your splitter box there output one output two output three i'm only running, running three tvs i can't vouch for four tvs with this i'm not sure it said it'll do four I did read in the comments somewhere that it won't work over five meters. I think you'd get a loss of um, quality. And I can't vouch for it, to be quite honest with you, the, the quality 4K. I haven't got 4K, Danny. I don't use 4K. I hardly use 4K at home, to be honest with you. I think that port one goes my furthest TV away. Port two looks like the TV here. Port three looks like the next TV. I'm not sure if that mat matters at all, what order they're in. But have a little play with yours. I know it was a little bit fiddly to get it going, and it was a bit fiddly setting up with the HDMI. You just flick through the ports on the TV. Once you find your right port, everything works. Mine's working. I'm well pleased with it. It looks like a bit of a jungle, but I'll tuck that when I turn this camera off. I'll tuck that behind there somehow, squash it all back, make sure it's all plugged in, and it'll work. So there we have it. So that's one TV working. If I show you with a Fire Stick controller, as I say, these come up in deals on Amazon quite often. But they're worth their money. They are worth worth the wait. These things are brilliant. So now if I show you that, now if I move around to the next TV, 
and I'm controlling that TV now for this fire stick. Let's move over there. So you'll see, if you can look at the left TV and the right TV, you'll see that simultaneous. And then, again, we come to the bar. I love having the TV behind it, it just, just gives it a little bit extra. And then we come to the bar, we go to the other TV. Same again. There you go, all working together. TV3. TV2. TV1. All controlled by the one fire stick and the split box. And the cable I use, these white ones, I think that was a standard one I had knocking about, the white ones with the extended ones. There you go, all works, and I've got them clipped up the top, money man. So if I go down like that, I want to start watching that, it breaks my chair, looks all right. There we go. Three TV, TV one, TV two, TV three, all connected by a split box. There you go, people. Thank you for watching that short video. Hope it um, was of some interest to you. It really does change your bar, your garden shed into a bar, into a proper, proper pub. One or two TV, it's, one TV is fine. Two, great, three or four, brilliant. I mean, I was tempted to just keep one of my smaller ones that I threw away up the top there. Bit overkill, not enough sockets. I didn't want too many bloody leads going everywhere. So I'm happy with what I've got here. One TV over my shoulder here, I can sit, people can sit on the bench and watch. And the table and chairs I've got sit, situated there, eventually I'll have um, my table, another story. Um, so I've got TV there. This is my favorite little seat here at the bar. Lovely large TV to watch there. Small little one behind the bar. It just reminds you of those little, and someone mentioned the other this morning or last night, the other day in the comments about it. it reminds you of a little bar in Spain or Tenerife or Mallorca or something. These little little tuck away bars that you sort of get a nice cheap beer in. Um, yeah, a few TVs really brings it to life. Not one. You really want more than one. So get yourself a little splitter box. A couple of HDMI leads. Cheap as you like. I think the splitter boxes at the moment are for fifteen. I looked on Amazon this morning. Fifteen ninety nine, sixteen quids. If you've got Amazon Prime, free delivery, next day delivery, couple of leads, you're up and running. Hopefully it works for you. Don't come crying to me if it doesn't. It works for me, that box works for me. As I said at the beginning of the video, it's not on sale on Amazon, I mean, I couldn't find it, but the one in the link below is the identical one. Um, I'd go for that if I was you. You can always send it back, it doesn't work. Um, I don't see why it wouldn't work. It's just splitting the channel three, two or three ways. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I've kept it as short as I could this time around. I know what I like. I know I ramble on a little bit and I go on and on and on. And um, that one, hopefully, is straight to the point. With no further ado, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to have a little tied up down today if I'm allowed. I've got a few bits and pieces to do. I've got my Max's wooden sign to make. Um, it's a bit damp out this morning. I've got to sand that and, and, and um, stain that. That video will be going up today. This video will be going up today. A bit early for a beer. 11 o'clock, 10 past 11. Few few jobs and chores to do yet, but um, I'll see what's on TV later tonight. Don't see if we've got any rugby to watch or whatever. Tea time for me. Nice cup of coffee, I think. Sort this video out. And then um, concentrate on some more videos. Please like, please subscribe. I'm trying to do some lives in the future, so I'll need as many subscribers as possible. Again, the affiliate link below might, might help me earn a couple of quid. I, I think you get 10 pences, I'm not really sure. If you can use that link and buy your splitter box through that, it all helps. Not for me to make fortunes, 
but for me to buy some bits and bobs and do some giveaways. Um, I think I'm doing some giveaways in the future. I did my carp fishing giveaway a little while back. That went okay for the carp guys. But I'd like to do something beer related. Um, bar runners, pumps, not sure, a bit, a bit weighty. Bar runners, glasses, beer mats or something along that, those lines. Not sure yet. I'm rambling on again. Can't help myself, can I? Right, I better go. Stay safe, people. Keep tuned. So like, subscribe. Catch you in the next video. Ta da. Update. I've managed to tuck it all back behind the TV. It's still all working. And oh, one little cable I've got to hide there, look. That's it. It's all tucked behind the TV, nice, look. Yeah, and it's still all working. Happy days. Catch you again. See you later.